To start with, this video goes through very simply how a single lift works in regard to answering calls. In part 2, I will explain how a duplex Otis system works. When I'm talking old lift logic, I'm not talking about computers where you can write some code to make the lift do whatever you want it to do. The relays I'm talking about are from the 1980s or before, when relays ruled. You could say that each relay is an instruction, equivalent to a transistor inside a computer chip. In a way it is, but it does not compare. You cannot program a relay because a relay is just a switch or a group of switches activated by an electromagnet. Relay on connects or disconnects circuits. Relay off connects or disconnects circuits. To make relays control lifts is a fascinating subject which my channel has been dedicated to for many years now. On a computer you see lines of computer code. On a relay logic controller you see nothing but relays and wires with no clues to what they do without a plan. But even then we are talking about switches and connections. Understanding how the logic works by studying a diagram is very difficult. Designers of these early old lifts came up with some very clever designs to get the lifts to work. Both videos are dedicated to the Otis call system, which has differences over other manufacturers like express lifts. Here we go then. A lift will always go to the furthest call before changing direction. Someone calls the lift on the third floor. With the Otis design, once a landing call has been answered, it doesn't have a direction. It doesn't give a stuff which way you want to go. It will oblige either way. Any landing calls are ignored until the doors start to close or a car call has been selected which will immediately set the direction of travel. The lift will now travel to the furthest call in this direction. The fifth floor car call is not the last so the lift will indicate it's going up. The lift will always stop for a car call or a landing call in the same direction. The fourth landing up call is ignored and the second landing down call is picked up. There is a first floor car call, so the lift will stop. This is where the person waiting on the landing to go up doesn't look at the direction arrow and gets in the lift and presses a higher call. The lift continues until it gets to the lowest call and will now respond to upward calls. The lift has to stop again on the first floor to collect the passenger who is already in the lift. Everyone with me so far? This is a single lift with an up and down collective system. Very simple. So what happens when we move to two lifts? On a computer it's very simple to program. If lift A is nearer than lift B, then lift A gets the call. Every manufacturer had their own designs and methods to achieve this with relays. But how do you sort out this without a computer? Lift A is going to the top floor so it can drop off its passengers and get the top floor down call at the same time. Then I would send lift B down to the ground to start collecting up calls. Actually, Otis's design is fairly simple. But you will need to tune into part 2 to find out what happens. 